The poet I chose was Ron Paget. He was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma on June 17, 1942. His parents were bootleggers, causing him to become a social outcast amongst his peers. He grew up during a time of extreme racism. However, he himself was not racist, which made him feel very different than the rest of the people in his society. His mother was constantly taking him to cartoon and movie festivals. This showed him the importance of entertainment in the world. During his childhood, he began to write poetry at the age of 13. Later on in high school, he started a newspaper dedicated to poetry. Once high school was over, Paget moved on to Columbia University, where he graduated in 1964. After that, he moved on to Paris, where he continued his education and began his career as a translator, where he translated French poetry into English. In his t entire life, he has been a poet, essayist, fiction writer, and translator. I'm going to read his poem, Coffee Corner. The large bowls of coffee at breakfast in France. The heavy porcelain cups in old American diners. The disposable brown plastic cups in motel lobbies. The feeling you ought to drink the entire cup. The slight vent you feel at feeling this way. The wondering why you do it then. The gratitude for someone's making the coffee. The decision not to have a third free refill. The surprise of a really bad cup of coffee. The way it used to cost a nickel, then seven cents, then ten, and now anywhere from sixty cents to three seventy-five, sometimes a little bit more for decaffeinated. The brown print of it drying on the cup's lip. The small amount left in the bottom. The rest of it sloshing inside you sending its stimulation through tubes in your body. Hello, let's go. We're late. Do you have the keys? Oh god, I can't find my wallet. I like this poem because it shows how relatable Ron Paget is. He can take a simple object like coffee and make it in interesting. In the first stanza, he shows the everyday objects of coffee everywhere, making the experience familiar and universal. He relates the common moods and associations with coffee, and how they transcend through every cup. This shows how he has the ability to make simple, underrated things intriguing and interesting. For his award, I think he deserves the award of being the most relatable poet. He writes about everything that affects him or anything that he finds interesting, even simple daily things. In every piece of writing, he finds a way to communicate with the audience by connecting through commonly shared tasks or experiences. Also, he does not shy away from any subject, covering items ranging from coffee to death, knowing that all subjects affect everyone in some light. He has a way of being serious, yet comedic, in the same breath. In every poem of his, you can connect with the shared feeling and humanness of the content. His poems feature his reflection on real life, extensive details, and keen observation. Ron Paget received mostly positive criticism. Carolyn Bokinsey once said, Ron Paget brilliantly transforms mundane experience into the subject of poetry through subtle humor, wordplay, and a childlike fascination of the world. David R. Godine also said, like a bicycle messenger on the streets of Manhattan, Paget relies on sharp turns, attitude, and an unfailing sense of balance rests on a keen awareness of mortality. Another author, James Tate, said, Ron Paget's poems sing with absolutely true pitch, and they are human friendly. Their search for truths, both small and large, can be a cause for laughter, or at least a thoughtful sigh.